Stand by for the opening night of the National Television Service. I feel like a tool in all those scenarios. We went to a Macklemore concert, yeah. and like there is a security. Anyone who's guard. been keeping up with the other end of the candle knows that you went to a Macklemore oh, concert. Okay. So. Oh, did I already tell you about this? Oh, you haven't told us about. Uh, maybe oh, keep going, keep going. There, I don't think you've told me any stories from the concert. There's a security guard that was like super yoked, and he looked kind of like Superman, and uh, and I I couldn't have fun in front of him. Like I'm self-aware enough to like I can't because we we were right on the on the fence the bar what do you call it? You got you got up to like the front of the, the front. What's that called though? That's called the thing the bar. The ra it's... rail the rail. We were on yeah. the rail, so they were like right there, and I just as a 25 year old man, I could not enjoy myself with that dude just facing me. It was too uncomfortable. I couldn't do it. I felt like a fucking loser being there, just surrounded the by girls, women. They loved Superman. They loved yeah, him. and they were all fawning over him. I was, like, oh, I was like, oh, fucking like, loser. Oh, I, I was the one that named oh, him Superman. Oh my god. He had a I, I, could, I couldn't. It's one of those yeah. things. Well, what I remember is is more of a. Um, I remember when we went to that epic rap battles of history concert, and it's like us as three, like you, Levy, and I as three 15 year old boys. 15's better. 15, I'm sure. 15, not 17, sure. <laughs> 25. No, but it's, it's like a you decade. have this. I remember it's a decade you like, of difference. You like jumping up and down, mobbing, like yeah, going that, hard I like in the pit. Having fun. No, no, I'm, that's what I'm saying is I know you like having fun. So I'm just in that like I I see in that situation from you like a self awareness. Like me having fun means like bumping into a bunch of people, so I can't do that shit. Well, there was there was this dude. I met the number one Macklemore fan. No one, no one listening to this. Can I've claim actually that met they're the, the number, number one Macklemore fan too. Who? No. It's, it's, it's not me, dude. I, no, it's His not. His name is Ryan Lewis. That's probably mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, they, they don't work together anymore. <laughs> they, they. Uh, I don't know what happened. I haven't actually looked into it. I'm oh, like the right. worst That's fan ever. That's why there are those Usher and Ryan Lewis songs now. Well, are I'm there sorry, really? Ryan Lewis. No, there, are, there, there aren't. He, he's just got the one thing, and it's gone oh. now. Uh, <laughs> Made, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I got it. He made plenty of money. He's fine. I think. He, yeah. I. I'd be. I'd be sitting pretty. I, I'd be fine. <laughs> um, but uh, this this lady, I don't know how how old do you think she was, Megan? 40s. Like in her forties, like mid to late forties. She was probably getting close to fifty, early fifties, because her daughters were like our age. Um, but she was from like Toronto, Canada, or something like that, and she had flown to. They said like twenty something of his concerts. And um, it was her and her two daughters, and they had, uh, the, I went the day, he did two shows, we had uh, tickets to the second show, but I went the first day to kind of see where the line started at and to see how early we had to get there. So I went up, I didn't realize that I was going to like meet this lady later, like the next day, but I went up to her the first day and I was like, hey, uh, how early did you get here? And it was like um, six o'clock, or no, it would have been like, yeah, it would have been like six o'clock. She was like, oh, we got here at five. And I was like, you got here at five? I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Other way around. It was like four. She said, I got here at five. And I said, five, it's only four. And I was like, you mean five in the morning? And I was like, oh, I was like, oh shit, okay, you were like here, here. And I was like, and when did the line start coming? She was like, oh, this line probably started coming around like two. And I was like, you sat here for eight hours by yourself? <laughs> like just hanging out? Because Lydia was fucking committed. Straight, no, she didn't even go to like Starbucks or like, like she didn't even go to the Starbucks across the street I watching. Mean, I mean, every time I went, I she was the one holding the and seat. And then the really annoying thing is that when left. Macklemore went by, she actually had to go to the bathroom for those five minutes. So that, that kind of ruined the whole thing. It's, that's funny for me. No one else knows what you're talking about. No one, about. I feel, I thought you've talked about Oh, okay. okay. Well, I mean the people The I room listen. knows what I'm talking about. Well, Lily, do you know what she's talking about? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, I'll circle back to that. But nonetheless, um, we uh, we ended up going into the concert, and the, uh, they were first in line. We were probably, like, they were first in line the next day, too. So she, like, got in line at 5 a.m., was at the concert until, like, 11 p.m., was back there in, like, six hours. Yeah, like, it's like, well, time to sleep. It's fucking crazy. Time to sleep. Like, <laughs> it's insane. We were fourth in line. We were fourth and, fourth and fifth. Um, and then, but then we get up to the bar, and it's like Megan, me, this fourth one. and fifth. <laughs> no, I, yeah. Megan, uh, Megan, me, one of her daughters, I think her, and another one of her daughters. 
Um, and this whole time I was under the impression that she was like a really supportive mom with like a rich husband that like whose daughters love Macklemore and so she's just like taking them to go to all these concerts, yeah. right? But as the show like progresses on and on, you start to realize that like her and Macklemore have like, like he knows who she is. The security detail knows who she is. They're like hugging, saying hi. She's got like a little sign that says Ben Hart Hart on it. It was fucking insane. And then like as the show goes on and on, the daughter next to me, I'm trying to have fun, right? Like you were talking about at the ERB concert. I'm like jumping up and down. She's like bored of being there. She's like not interested at all. And the mom's like crying throughout the songs. And I start to realize that they're not here for the daughters, they're here for the mother, and the daughters have been dragged to 25 Macklemore concerts Mom, over the course of this tour. Mom, can't we just go back to school now? <laughs> it's like, no! That was wild. But so, like, I have, so, like, I have Superman looking at me. We already missed Manitoba. Like, we can't, we, we're going to Seattle. Uh, I have Superman judging me, and then I have this disinterested teenager next to me that's just over it. And, like, they kind of ruined all the surprises, because, like, Macklemore would disappear appear and then they'd all turn around like let's look at Ben and we'd be like oh fuck I guess something's happening over here and then all of a sudden he comes down on a motorcycle <laughs> like they have the whole choreography like graphed out in their heads it was fucking awesome and at the end he gave her a, um, he gave her, he came out with like a Sonics jersey and he was like, this is for you. Like you took it off and gave it to her. And like, every, and he, like he'd come out and pretend like he was going to throw it into the crowd and I'm like, <laughs> throw it right there. <laughs> oh yeah, but she was, she Man, is actually the biggest. That could be us head. with Pooh Crafter someday. <laughs> Just, oh, we're going to listen to another comment? No. No. Oh fuck! Sorry, no, that scared the fuck out of me. I totally cut you off. My, I, I lifted this up and I was looking for the cup holder and I thought it was gonna stick and then it fell and I thought I spilled onto myself. Anyway. No, it's like the bot whole bottom of the cup fell out. Yeah, my shitty goodwill cup. My mom's like that about Pete Carroll, and I think that's weird. Like Macklemore is almost on par with Pete Carroll in popularity, but like, no. Eh. People, no one in Europe knows who Pete Carroll Who's is. Pete Carroll. Okay. Well. That's actually a really interesting, like... Is that a singer? No, it's the, the coach for the, the coach Seattle Seahawks. Yeah. Oh, he's cute. Okay, I, not, not cute not enough to remember really. his name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. My mom has met and had, like, had been photographed with him, like, now, like, 11 times. Like, she'll just seek him out on the street whenever there's a game. She'll be, like, near the arena if she's in That's Seattle. That's weird. Yeah. It is, a little I, bit. I love the idea that Megan, like that feels kind of out of context, the whole, oh, he's cute type of thing. So I just love the idea that it's like, oh man, who is that uh, that politician? He kind of like ran third party a while. What was it? Oh, Ross Perot. Oh, he's cute. Like, I, I don't know why I just. <laughs> well, I don't actually watch football. I just, I just like. You just, you're just watching for the like cuties. Yeah. I don't like, know anything about you him. Like, I just you like him? This, this guy? <laughs> yeah, you Cute. Dude, that's oh, I Zach. Wish. This is your competition. Look at look at that man. He looks like the captain on the Titanic. He coaches yeah. all the Seahawks. I've, I've, I've gone I've gone over this, Julian. Every so often, she'll say that someone's cute, and I'll like have an internal like like existential crisis. Not because I feel threatened. Because, because you're just like, oh, that is I, I'm, I'm like, you're. That's what you're into. I, he kind of looks like a Muppet, like with the fluffy Thanks. hair. Thanks. Oh my God, she was really into that Kermit I the like Frog Muppets. costume. Yes. She was stoked. Dude, I'm surprised you haven't asked me to cut a hole in the crotch yet. That's great. You really like Muppets that much. <laughs> Kermit. It's okay. Julian and I just make fun of my type. Like my type. I could, like, <laughs> there's like a type that seeks you out, and then there's like a type that you're interested in, you know? And both, both you can make fun of, you know? Yeah. Go for it. The type that seeks Lily out is like a very like nerdy, meek type of guy who's like and I Lily has complained about this, so tell me if I'm doing it. Do you want do you wanna actually talk about this, Lily? Do you wanna rant about your your two types? Your suitors. My your, your suitors and your suitees. My suitors are the overly polite, like Hey, I just want like texting me uh, a message saying like, "Hey, I know this might be weird." Like like just phrasing it with like a bunch of apologies beforehand and like, "I pepped myself up before I like went to th talk to you about this and I know that it's really awkward, but maybe you might like me. I just wanted to know that you have a crush and uh, that I have a crush on you." And I'm like, 
we're in our mid twenties, guy. Like you need a. We're not in middle school. This isn't a check yes or no kind of situation. It's, it's, just it's very the front awkward. loading with apologies. Yeah. I don't think I don't think I've ever had someone walk up to me and say, "Hey, you look cute. Do you want my number?" Like, here's my number. I always get these awkward shy guys that like are think that I'm flirting with them and then text me a week later being like, "Hey, I just thought maybe you were flirting with me." You should take that as a compliment. It means you seem very approachable. No, it doesn't, because it's always text. Well, okay, <laughs> but think about it this way. Think of all the people that they don't say anything to. You're the person that they finally feel like, you know what, she's worth speaking up to. And it doesn't come out well. Yeah. I'm not saying they did a good job. I'm just, I don't know, I'm trying to I fight for the little guy. guy. The yeah. I'm trying to fight for the little meek man. Me and, and said meek something Mill. similar to this, told me in the text that he liked me that he called his sister for a pep talk beforehand. It's one of those things where, what is it, I, it's like one of those stories that's cute if you tell it once you've been dating for 18 months. Like, if you say, yeah, actually, I was so excited to like, Dude, so that, excited that's to ask every you out. story. It's one of those, but yeah, if you tell it in the moment, you know, if you're like, hey, so, I was actually, I almost shat myself writing this text halfway through, like, whoo, I was, I have no faith in myself, dog, but <laughs> I thought maybe you might want to buy some of what I'm selling, you know, it's just like. Yeah, that's the thing, is there's no pro, it's just like, am I helping someone through an anxiety attack, or are we going through a date, <laughs> like. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. And how would you describe the guys that you're into? Would you describe them perhaps like, perhaps like Sesame Funny. Street characters? <laughs> Traditionally, my type used to be just like... Jimmy Carr fellows? Uh, like Milo Thatch from Atlantis was kind of oh, what I was Atlantis looking at for a long are. time. Okay, sorry. Um, you ever seen Atlantis? I love Milo. So thank you. Cute. Thank oh you. Like, I, was really into, I was really into like... You put Milo guys. Thatch... Milo is, is, a, um, is a popular one out I don't there. Know. So. Yeah, he, it, like tall, like lanky glasses. Sounds like the guys you were previously describing. <laughs> no, so, opposite. No, tall, you said meek. Tall, lanky, meek. glasses, unapologetic. That's, yeah. that's okay. the final part. <laughs> the, the lack of mink or Looking meek. Looking for Atlantis. Adventurous, <laughs> risk, Adventurous. Ri risk takers, yeah, yeah. risk take archaeologi you know, archaeological the problems. Yeah, that they're, like they're unapologetic mental. risk takers again. Like, like I think that telling somebody I have have anxiety should be like during the actual date, not like while you're asking them out. I think what Lily, what maybe the comparison here is like it's pretty badass to like you know ride a dirt bike over a bunch of buses, right? But there's a lot of delivery in how you do it. <laughs> like if right after you leave, if you, right after you catch air, you're just like, oh, I shouldn't have done this. I hate bicycles. This is so scary. I might break all my bones. Like that's less cool than if you just did it silently or with more purpose. Got you. I did that I did that on a date when I went to watch a scary movie. You jumped we, a bus? No, we sat down, the movie started, and internally I was like, why am I here right now? I was like, I, I don't like, I'm like, I'm not gonna enjoy yeah, this at all. you didn't say it out loud. You weren't like, hey, I just want you to know I'm really nervous. No, like, you're right, I was just like. Yeah, you keep that shit inside. Like, yeah, I'm lucky they didn't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> if, they, if they had like, a good thing the movie was, you know, mildly captivating. Otherwise, they'd be like, you want a kiss? And I'd just be. You want to, what the fuck? Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Don't, <laughs> don't. Or like, here's a good example. Even when I, I was dating someone, I'm not going to name names because we all know everybody. <laughs> In a, on a level, but um, a level, yeah. on a level. But the first date I had with my first boyfriend, he invited someone else without telling me, and that person brought their pregnant mother. Wow! So there was four of you. Yes. And she that there's like there. five. He yeah. <laughs> depending, depending on what state you're in. Were you muted for that? Yes. Oh, fuck yeah. Just I know. Technically fine! <laughs> From the back put, of the room. You just need to put a little caption down. No, no, no it's, per no, it's perfect. I like that it was. If it was like, technically five, it'd be way less funny than, hey! Actually, I think it would have been funniest if it was like right into the mic, technically five. <laughs> No, whenever I try to turn the button on it, it makes that crackly noise. So you know what's hilarious? My whenever mic you fell out of its holder a while ago. Oh. I don't know how it went. No. Megan, you can't tell that his microphone wasn't plugged. I can hear him just fine. Oh, well, that's, oh, that's not good. Probably. 
We'll no, see. once it gets boosted. You know what's funny? I actually noticed that your microphone string wasn't going like that, and I thought you had hit it underneath your shirt. And I was like, good job, Julian. I, was, I actually thought you did a really good job hiding that microphone. No, I could, I could actually <laughs> hide it under my shirt more. <laughs> I was complimenting you in my head. It's like, dude, it's almost like it looks like it doesn't have a microphone on. It's completely disappeared. Man, you should have really complimented it, and then it would look like a dumbass. So, so Julian, there's there's a way that you bend it through. So, um, this is how mine is. So, oh yeah, so clip clip the microphone into its thing, and then run it under, and grab it, pinch it like that. So the, you see this pinchy part that you'd use to grab your shirt? Yeah. You're putting the cord inside of that as well. You're not pinching it. You're just having it sit in that hole. No, I got you. I got you. And then you pinch your shirt with that. And that allows you to have some more uh, gotcha, gotcha. grace with your movements. Gotcha. I see now. So that one's crackling when you turn it on, huh? They all are. Hers does it too. When you touch it, it makes it crackling. So oh, that's fine. Yeah, because there's fluffies so, on well, it. It's no, it's because mm -hmm. it's turning on and off. No, it's not crack. Is it? Is it? You took it off. Oh. Well, okay. Is is it crackling when you use it, or is it crackling when you turn it on? Like when I use it, I guess. So Just when you use bit. it, so that's not when you're turning it on. That's when you're using. I think it was when it was on my shirt. This is fine. So when it's on your shirt, it crackles. I don't know why, Zach. Well, do you want to put it on your shirt and see if it happens? No. Can you put it on your shirt and see if it happens? Why? I'm, cu I'm curious. I'm trying to figure out what it is. And when I need to unmute it, I can just pick it up and hold it. Because then you're going to sound like Julian for the past ten episodes. I don't. What do you wow, mean? wow! 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 Because I don't have that much to say. Okay. Does it crackle when Meg, uh, Lily, Lily talks? Just when she touches it. To okay, it but when it's on her shirt, it doesn't crackle. Yeah, it's not. Good. Dude, that is so weird. I don't. God. I don't even know if it's getting picked up, like recorded. I can just hear it. Probably. Then. Um, well, yeah, anything you hear is what, what you hear is being recorded. That's the whole point of you monitoring audio. <clears throat> That's really confusing. It sucks whenever problems are, like, um, inconsistent. It, yeah. make, it makes it borderline impossible to diagnose it properly. It makes it really, really hard. <clears throat> but, yeah. Did it happen when you took it off your shirt? No, because it was off. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to leave it for now. <sighs> Microphones are hard, Julian. Microphones are hard. Well, audio's a son of a bitch. It's not flashy. It's not cool. But well, it looks like it makes everything shit. I'm very upset work. with my recent video because I was <clears> my <throat> iPhone camera, I think because I had it plugged in while I was recording because I was going to have it on for like three hours. So I, I just remembered that your microphone fell out for like ten minutes. <laughs> Continue. I just I just remembered that that happened. I'm gonna <laughs> get a like a disaster. little clicker. -er. Oh I'm gonna get God. a little clicker. -er. Um, that, I need like, to get you better headphones. Is what it is. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little clicker for every yeah. single time you interrupt me. Yeah, and I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep that count every episode. And I'm just gonna store it right here. You do it. We'll too, build dog. equity. Uh, I need to get you soundproof headphones. That way you could tell when someone's microphone falls off. You can hear him because he's 10 feet away from you, and he's loud. Does that make sense? Okay. Do you, do you sincerely think that audio levels are the same with the microphone next to his mouth and on the ground? Zachary, obviously not, but I, I, it wasn't noticeable enough. Okay. I just don't understand why you're fighting me on this. I'm not fighting you. I'm well, deaf in my You're disagreeing. Here. Can you move forward? Okay. Well, it's an, it's an interesting thought. Do you think the microphone is the same when it's on the ground? You're not having fun. Well, this is one of those episodes, boys. Nice. Well, I feel like we always have roughly like because I think this too. Like I'll leave feeling really good about certain episodes and really bad about certain episodes. I feel like we always reach roughly the same S shaped curve. Where if we edited it, edited it down like we used to with the Chucklehead show, we would still probably reach between somewhere between twenty and thirty minutes of like uh, slightly digestible content, and then you know thirty minutes of less digestible content. Uh, 
Why do you why do you talk down about everything that you make? You, you have a tendency of doing that. Is so, it is it just is it just like not I talk down about yourself? everything? I, so I feel like it's interesting. You and I talk down about things in different ways. Like when I will say like when I'll talk about like my thoughts on you know like how to garner subscribers through the algorithm, and that kind of makes you giggle because we're functioning at such like a low level. So I think that's my version of that. Is we are functioning at such a low level to. Um, market a, to speak a quality about our product besides the ones that I obviously feel within like, besides the ones that are markers like we've done it for a while. We've been able to like improve the way that we, you know, talk and like th this and that. Besides like the improvements that I've discussed with you before and that I think of as more internal improvements, I don't feel like I would market this as, uh, my instinct isn't to market things as, oh, this is the big thing that I'm doing. But I think you have the same tendencies, I guess. Uh, How do I, say, I, when do I have the same tendencies? Like, when we talk about, like, <clears throat> aspiration. Like, you know, if I were to bring up the idea of, like, oh, what would we do for, like, um, like, what would we do if we wanted to, like, release merch or something like that, you know? Which I understand it's putting the cart before the horse, so, like, that part is funny, but sometimes I feel like you have an apprehension for, like, the idea that, you know, us with 130 subscribers is talking about releasing merch is inherently silly. Yeah. That That's more criticism towards potential ideas. <clears throat> I'm talking about, like, um... Like, so, like, so like I'm, you, you I'm, talked I'm about just like, as critical of of past ideas on which we have already taken action as you are about potential ideas. Well, no, I mean, like, like when when you brought up the S shape thing of like having twenty or thirty minutes of mildly digestible stuff, <clears throat> and then twenty to thirty minutes of not so good stuff. I, I walk out of here when like I feel like we had a good episode. I feel like the whole thing was good, and I feel good about it. I don't like. I don't think of it as half of it being bad and half of it being mildly digestible. I would say, oh, that was a really fun episode. That was good. Um, or I'll think that like an episode is like, it feels like pulling teeth where we're like moving through, uh, not mucus, that's not the right word, moving through like tree sap, like trying yeah. to work my way through it. <clears throat> but like, like um, I've heard you say before, oh, I'm not gonna be able to quote it perfectly, so I shouldn't even bother. You can paraphrase me and I'll tell you if it's like. <laughs> no, you're not, I mean, you're not gonna even remember. It's like, yeah. you know, sometimes someone says something and it sticks with you. And then like, but it's more like the feeling sticks with you rather than like the thing that the person says. So like, you can't even, it's like pointless to bring up. Like you're not gonna remember it. And I clearly don't remember it that much. Otherwise, I'd know. I'd still like to investigate. It's still, still tell me what you can remember, and we'll get into the feeling. We'll all take it with that. Great so, assault. like, so. with I think it was with I don't remember if it was I think it had to have been the Beast Bars video. You talked uh, like you weren't that proud of it, but then like a year later or something like that, you told me that you had a realization that and this is the part that I don't really remember that much. But mm -hmm. you told me that in hindsight, you thought that you should look at it more positively or something like that because it was what we were able to do at the time or something like that. I'm so not, I'm not getting the, I'm not getting like the word before. proper, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. the terminology properly. But I think that's vaguely the idea. So I think that there is... I'm not gonna like editing this episode. It's gonna <laughs> suck. That's the other worst thing. Whenever we have an episode that feels like you're moving through molasses, I have to listen to this again. And then I have to try to find parts that I think are like, silly enough to turn into TikToks and then do that and it fucking so this this is legit episodes like this are the reason that shit like gets delayed a week because every time I sit down and listen to it for 10 minutes I want to kill myself and <laughs> that's, that's legit there's your this, TikTok. Is, this is why stuff doesn't get done is because of episodes like this where I'm just like I'm like cringing every time I listen to it and I just can't exist through it for another hour you know we had an episode that made me so uncomfortable that I didn't even edit it I just put the beginning and end on and I was like dude I just gotta ship this out like I can't I can't can't quality control this at all. It's just gotta go. Which one? <laughs> it's so bad. It, uh, it was like uh, one of the, I don't know, there's only been like 18 or 19. It was one of the early ones. It was so bad. I legit got like 30 minutes. Now, I remember I you struggled my way through 30 minutes. And I was like, dog, I can't do this anymore. Megan was like, oh, did you finish editing that one? I was like, kinda. <laughs> Not like the last 20. I just skipped it. <laughs> <laughs> that 
hell is the most? <laughs> I think the TikTok can just be you spiraling into madness at the idea of editing the very oh TikTok my God. posting. I think that that could be the TikTok. In <gasps> no one likes editing TikToks. That could be a funny little thing. I don't know. Sometimes I'm starting to get to the point where I like the idea of doing like 10 or 15 second TikToks because it takes way less. Oh, here's a question for you, Julian. Yes. You never let him answer the last question. I didn't yeah, ask didn't a question. Answer. <laughs> no, I subtly tried to change topics because it's fucking, like, ugh, driving me insane. All right. Fine. Okay, respond, Julian. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I know you didn't say anything, and Megan has a problem with that. <laughs> I, because you cut him off. I didn't cut him off. Yes, you cut you him did. off. You, you cut me off. Oh, what were you saying? Um, something about... Uh, so, something about like the pride we have in our current work about what we're able to produce right now versus like you were asking me why I put this like negative spin onto certain things. Mm -hmm. I remember that. And um, and he didn't respond. I, didn't just, I know he didn't respond because I tried to change can't. topics. Yeah, I tried to steer the plane that way. You so, can't just start a conversation and then decide you're done with it. I can twice. absolutely realize I made a grave error and then try to fix it. Like if you fucked up, you shouldn't. Keep fucking up. Yeah, you should you try say, to stop. Actually, this conversation isn't going anywhere. Let's change the subject. Oh, I went on a rant about how like awful I'm making this <laughs> and how I'm gonna have to like relive it <laughs> for like an hour or however long this ends up being. I don't think I like these microphones. These ones? They keep cut you guys like turn your heads and then it cuts and then it's it like... cuts? Like it gets quieter or it makes a noise? It's both. Okay, well, let's just not. It, this whole thing's this whole thing's fucked already. Julian, go ahead. You... No. No. Okay. Do you think it's better to have two TikToks with subtitles or seven without subtitles? Um, two TikToks with subtitles or seven without subtitles? Yeah, I mean, I'm throwing those numbers out. Um, there. I don't really know. In general, idea. I think it's gosh, water shit. I think it's better to have more short things. And my biggest piece, what what I think we need to do in terms of TikTok is we need to have something really attention grabbing right at the beginning. So it's like we should almost do more things that are like clip in five seconds of whatever silly thing we're talking about that's really visually entertaining and then cut to us talking about it for 10 or 15 seconds. You want to give a teaser for a TikTok? No, that's not no, what I said. No, we're putting a clip beforehand about the thing, like a little thing. Like if you guys are talking about Game of Thrones, you put the little two-second so clip. You put you, you put the, the little two-second cl clip of whoever dying or whoever fighting on Game of Thrones, and and whoever's watching it says, "Oh, I like, I want to watch this whole scene because it's attention grabbing," and it cuts to us, and they're more likely to swipe away. But uh, what is it? They're less likely to swipe away than if it was just two guys who they didn't know talking. Yeah. So not so not like not a clip of. When you said dying, I thought you meant like dying laughing. No. Uh, so you, you don't mean like a clip from I mean like an attention grabbing clip, not from the TikTok. God, I, I kind of like, do. I kind of did that a little bit with like having an image slide up. Yeah, exactly. And I, I think that, that that type of visual thing helps. But I like, yeah. And I like you can honestly do more captions too. I think captions make things like I, it What's sounds kind of stupid. The subtitles. The, the words on t where you do I not text? have to. Text on screen. Oh, but not subtitles. Not subtitles, no, I'm talking about the captions, like on screen text captions that say fucking a who, or you know, wh whatever the TikTok is. But it, it just says that, or it's like, would you fuck a who? So whoever's watching it now might just be laughing at the core question. They don't have to do all this like legwork to get to what the joke actually is. It also makes it more likely that they're going to up their volume because most people are in public, especially they're muted on TikTok and they won't be able to hear what you're talking about. So some kind of like teaser to say this is what we're discussing and they go, oh, interesting, volume up instead of just going like, oh, it's just another podcast like situation and flipping through. You think that's better than subtitles? To, yes, in my opinion. Huh. I mean, to say like better is Most such a subjective read a title like faster and make a decision based on that rather than reading all the words in the two minutes. If we were doing stand up comedy, I would think subtitles are more important because it allows you to consume it silently while you're at work as opposed to like just having to like swipe through or something like that. But as we're doing this, no, I think the problem is more like. Oh, it's just gonna be people talk, people who I don't know talking, as opposed to oh, Game of Thrones. Oh, what do they have to say about that Game of Thrones clip? That's but that that's my opinion. You 
do whatever you want. Oh, well, no, I, I understand what you're saying with the, the little clip of something. I'm more thinking about the um, caption that you were talking about. Like, when you, when you say caption, do you mean like it takes up the whole screen? No, just like the little above thing. Like, for example, you guys are talking, and then right above it, there's just a little thing that says, you know, Game of Thrones, the cast of Mirror or whatever. The Reigns of Cast Mirror, yeah. something like that. Yes. Exactly. So it's basically just um, Game of Thrones clips. Sometimes, like, when, when I'm making my YouTube shorts, which is just very Do you do captions? Yes, yes, I do captions. Yeah, unplugged somehow. Or something. I don't know. Something's going on. Yeah, that's not a bad call. Yes. It doesn't matter. <sighs> I give up. Christ. Dude, how does water keep falling on me? I'm like a... It's a shitty... No, it's a shit. It's got no lip. It's, it's got no lip. The lip is bad. Alright, so much for that. That's a good idea. You said straw, right? Okay. I just put an R at the end. <laughs> it threw me off a yeah, little. Yeah, sure. God. All I want are lavalier mics that work. That's too much to ask. I thought you meant it said lava lamp, so we're both mishearing. A lava lamp would work. Scream into one of those. I'm not muted, right? You can hear me? Sick. Can I, can I see one of yours with captions? Yeah. Also, do I take this clip off first? There shouldn't be a clip. No, it slides in with the clip. The clip is what holds it in place. Oh, uh, I don't check, check. Can you hear me, Megan? I don't think it goes down all the way. Okay, gotcha. Just oh, yeah, making sure. The clip is a little different on this guy, ain't it? Huh. Road, it's a little different. You yeah. fucked up, road. That's a mistake. It works. It's fine. But yeah, the other one's sliding all the way. This one's just funky. Like, yeah, so I'll do... Do you do subtitles as well? No. You just do captions? I just do captions. I just make really low effort. So, um, I just make something that I can make that day. Yeah. I don't know if it's Facebook through YouTube, but whenever he sends me links to his videos on YouTube, YouTube's actually pretty good at auto-generating his captions. YouTube's very good at auto-generating captions. Cap or subtitles, rather. They do it for shorts? Like, so he yeah. here's, here's what I'll do. So I'll do like... Uh, like footage of the some bitch incoming, stitch incoming. Yeah. Oh, stitch incoming. Oh, I see. Hazelnut opinions. Watch until the. End. Watch until the end. I don't do watch until the end on all of them. I just decided I'd experiment with Hazelnut that. Hazelnut opinions. Something. Okay. So that's just yeah. That's just a, just a little caption. Just makes it. Can like, I see the YouTube subtitles? That'd save a lot of effort. Sure. Subtitles take so long to do. I mean, it kind of depends on how good you want them to be. Oh, have you ever tried? Um, try auto generate. So Instagram do Reels do does this. Um, Instagram Reels good. is really good at it. Um, let's see. Oh, here, I've got captions on that. Should be. I don't think it's doing it. Oh. You have to press a button. Okay, let's go up and down. Cash it off. Right. I get that. It's just not as eye grabbing as like the Mr. Beast, like blah, blah, blah. No, blah, it's blah, certainly blah, not. In no, no, face. no. Instagram does do that automatically. They'll do it the. It does? Yes. Sir. Can I see that? I don't. No. You don't do that? No. Uh, I haven't posted Instagram yet. So. Mm. I mean, I have on like my stand-up comedy tool. page. And so stuff. hold on. Yes, it'll it'll automatically do generate like those big subtitles. word captions that are in different sizes, and we'll put oh, them I've on screen that. I've at seen the that. pace that's that you are speaking. Yeah, it, I've that's seen that. That, that. That's not what I'm talking about. Like the the thing where like zooms like. No, no, no. I know what you're talking about with the Mr. Beast captions now. No, it doesn't quite do that, but it does something very similar. Soon someone's going to be able to... I wonder if you can do that in After Effects to have it be automatically generated. How does <clears throat> Mr. Beast do his captions? <laughs> That's the YouTube video I watched. <laughs> Zach, but, uh, I told you I would do it for you. Uh, it, have you yet? No, we just talked about it last night before bed. Okay, so why would you bring that up? Because you're like trying to find something else. I want to try to do it. Imagine if even you didn't have to do it. 
Right. Why, why would we, like, you could also make your own butter. You know what I mean? It's actually really good. Butter? Yeah. Get heavy cream, whip it. You just, just make, like, you're making whipped cream, take it past whipped cream. It's really good, yeah. I make my own whipped cream. Do you? Do you just, like, an egg? Uh, yeah, I actually, it's way easier if you just use a French press and you just... What's a French press? Uh, the coffee makers where you just pour the coffee in, then you pour the water in, and then you just squish it down. That's a French It's like a coffee pot with coffee. a big rod I on shouldn't top. Have asked. Kind of, yeah, it's know. just a coffee pot with a strainer, so you just fill it with hot water and coffee, and then you just strain it down. Is that the thing where people act like they have a little zen garden, and they like have like little things they make like... No, not quite. Uh, uh-huh. no. no, I think you're thinking of latte art. <laughs> oh. No, 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 it's like these people will like meticulously like like assemble have, their espresso shot. I think so. It's in this little cup. And they like compact it. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's, they like rake it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a, that's an espresso maker. This is more like just. That's like all it. to get the beans so they aren't more clumped in one place. Supposedly, so that's why you're, like, grating it out. Grating it and then like fluffing it up a little and then pushing it down a little because yeah, you just. You know what? I'll caption this. What coffee opinions <laughs> and like a like surprising that. number of people will watch it based off Dude, of that everyone is so adhd now it's e- insane everyone's yeah <laughs> dude shout out to subway surfer that's what i should do i shouldn't even show our video i should just have our subtitles go over like subway surfer just just tag just put some subway surfer in the background in the corner just half of the screen is subway surfer and half of it is us well that's like what ha- like so a lot of tiktoks fun. are it's like some somebody splits a video in half like they're doing a comparison to something but it's just two different videos or Have yeah you it's that or a lot of the time it'll be like satisfying footage of yeah. people cutting like moon sand. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should do a we should do a what is it? We should do an S tier list for like ways that people distract you while watching a TikTok video. We could be like Minecraft parkour, subway we could, surfer, like, try moon doing sand. All, no, 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 I like that. No, like, like like rank it based on how captivating we find it, or like I wish those that, heavy press. I don't videos. think we're good enough improvers together to have like an "Am I the asshole?" Reddit improv boat. Like, I don't know what that Zach, is. Zach, do you think I am twenty six? I can't read yeah. that shit. Oh, you mean like we're like we read stories off of where we speak our thoughts from our head, like we are reading it off of an "Am I the asshole?" post. Oh, and make it up on the spot. Make it up on the spot. Oh, yeah, geez, that'd be hard. Yeah. No. Could make up fake, re- that could be a, th- a series, make fake Reddit posts to read and turn into ADHD TikToks. Ooh, I have a- Everyone thinks they're fake already. I have a slightly better one. You could always um, make a couple of fake Yahoo questions and then play like which one's the real one. It's a Yahoo question. You know, like ya- the Quora. Yahoo Quora. answers. Or Yahoo answers. Yahoo answers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But like, you know, like make a few of those because they're so ridiculous and then try to guess which one of the persons is the real one. Like two truths and a lie yeah. type shit. That could be two fun. Truths. Well, I could also just see it as like, let's just, we could just react to like 50 that we find and say whether or not we think they're fake because there are a lot of them that'll be like, I, you know, cheated on my military husband while he was in Afghanistan with his best friend. And it's meant for everyone to comment down below like women moment but it's fake so it's like things like that that are can you guys please do the cylinder one do you know Julian the cylinder knows what one? I'm talking about um I, it's too long it is. <laughs> it's just about a guy it's who, too long to do now it's basically like a guy clearly has his dick stuck in a Pringles can but oh, okay. the whole yeah, 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 yeah. Like, talking about I vaguely yeah, he's like it's a cylinder <laughs> <laughs> they're like, have you tried removing the cylinder from the object it's attached to? It is imperative the cylinder remain attached to the base object. I, I just need to get it out. I am worried about the cylinder remaining intact in this position. It's your dick. It's a cylinder. <laughs> like, every single time, I'm like, dude, I think you need a doctor. The doctor won't help. This is a cylinder. <laughs> Like, Zach, the thing is, if you just found that cylinder story and then put it right before us laughing about it, that would be our most viewed <laughs> video by a lot. I hope that's real so bad. I'm pretty sure it is. He's so adamant. 
<laughs> yeah, but people are so good at trolling these days, dude. There's some fucking experts out there that get like master degrees in fucking with people. It's online. one of those things where it's oh my God. it's so like it's so <laughs> on two ends. Because I'm with you, people. It's imperative that the cylinder stays in one piece. <laughs> I really don't want to put heat near the cylinder. I cannot explain why, but no, the cylinder cannot go into my. And what, what did the, what did they say he did? He got his dick stuck in a freaking M M&M and M tube oh, yes. with a warm, mushed up banana That's in it. Right. Is what the post says. Which is also an M M&M and M tube, is so small. With the warm, mushed up banana. He was making a flashlight. And what he was trying to get it out. Oh wait. So hold on. I can't imagine. So it's like. I'm just going to look it up. I'm just looking it up. I, I'll, I'll We won't read the whole post. I'm going to read the post. But... <laughs> I just want to know what he described it at it first. He said he got a cylinder stuck into I got a M&M. cylinder roughly 5.5 inches in length, <laughs> 1.6 inches in girth, stuck inside of an M&M did, did tube with girth? a warm microwave banana. Yes, he did. Uh, he's fucking with you. There's no way. If you're trying to hide the fact, you would have said circumference. Maybe he said circumference. Maybe, maybe. Girth is giving the game away. <laughs> 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 Uh, you ever just remember, <laughs> like... Yeah, how would you get a small cylinder, 5.1-inch length, 4.5-inch girth, unstuck from a mini M&M's tube filled with butter and microwave mashed banana? It's a cylinder. Oh, uh, no, that's a troll. There's no fucking way. Damn it. Oh, that is so good. Holy going shit. To, you're going to want to get the larger structure the cylinder is detached to, moving at a high enough speed that the internal pressure of the cylinder goes down, freeing it from the tube. Due to the other object attached at the cylinder's base, it is difficult to have a range of motion large enough to gather enough a- speed and angular momentum for that. Oh, man. I think you'd want to drill the end. You'd want to drill a hole into the end so you could get air inside there. Cut the tube. I don't want to risk a blade coming that close to the cylinder. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think a drill is your friend. All right, Julian, if you had your dick stuck inside of an m M&M, and Oh, yeah, this is the next Chucklehead Chronicle. We're going to stick my cock... Inside of an M M&M and M tube. Yeah, no, Zach. I think you're right. I think I'd banana. take um, a syringe full of air. Like if I if I could find like you a sharp need to put air syringe. In there. No, but I would just. I mean, you, yeah, you could practically you just, just. You just need a hole. You just need a needle, honestly, or you don't even need to use. You could use like a a pen or oh something that was like less needly sharp. I don't know why a drill sounds less scary than a needle. Someone said, "Wait for the cylinder to go soft," and they said, "What if the cylinder has not softened in three hours?" <laughs> okay, that's fake. <laughs> God damn it! I wanted that to be real, motherfucker. Oh man, that's. That's so good. You know, at some point, like in 2090, there's going to be fucking 80-year-old YouTube videos. Think about how weird that is. Like, imagine if Charlie the Unicorn came out in, like, the tw- like in 19, like 1915 or 1908 or whatever, 1910. Yeah. Like, there's going to be 100 years of fossilized memes and internet content for the future generations to rediscover. I think it's interesting how quickly <laughs> we, we move through some we'll, memes. We'll be fine. How quickly you move through what? We move through some memes now. Like, I feel like a meme used to run more, like, for several months, and now it feels like a meme will run for, like, a couple of weeks, if that. Yeah, I think the internet's just a bigger place. Well, the idea that the internet lasts forever is really a fallacy. Like, it's, it's not... I mean, there are literally internet archivists because things get taken down and then there's no way to track it anymore. Like, unless people are screen grabbing stuff before, like, the websites are deleted, they're gone. So, like, that whole idea of the internet's forever, yeah, only if people are keeping the receipts. Only if those people are saving those memes to then post onto future websites. If Tumblr goes down, all those Tumblr posts that were on Facebook are the only things left. If Facebook goes down, they're gone, you know? So If the Dead Sea Scrolls survived 10,000 years in a cave, I think we can hold on to the annoying orange. Well, I think I somewhere, know, someone, somewhere. Burned to the ground, so. <clears throat> this is true. I'm not <laughs> saying that all the memes will be kept alive. They'll, they'll just be, like, a photo of Harambe, and no one will, like, know the story behind it. Like, the only reason we know about planking is because South Park did it. Like, <laughs> uh, I would, I don't know. yeah. Um, 
What are you thinking about? What's going through your mind? I always find that sometimes sometimes you'll put things, you'll tell me something that you think is really cool in terms of like a time stamp. Like you'll be like, like when you were talking to me about this mug, you're like, oh, this is a 50 year old mug. And oh, I'm just yeah, like, yeah. yeah, you know, it's I, I like a lot of things shit. are. Yeah, no, it's, I know you do. But I get my brain is just like, yeah, ladies. You know, no, <laughs> no, no same, I think I, I'm the same way. You're like, do you, do you believe that some of those trees are like older than us? It's like, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Like, look at that tree. That tree was there when Columbus landed. And wrap your fucking head around that. No, it wasn't. Oh, I'm, there's no tree in here. Okay, well, <laughs> then you're definitely wrong. <laughs> go to, go to like California. The rainforest, or the redwoods. The rainforest, well, the only yeah. Olympic rainforest is older <clears throat> than the dinosaurs. No, you're definitely right. It's not just maybe. Yes, <laughs> yes. in the Olympic rainforest. Yes. Uh, like one specific tree? There are some of the trees, yeah. They're like, for example, like ginkgo trees. No are, way. Yeah, ginkgo trees. The reason. Well, no, I think we might be just. I'm talking about like an actual, like one no, tree. One, no, You're talking I'm, about like a lineage of trees. Yeah, I'm talking about like a forest of trees. Got but it. Those trees themselves are hundreds of thousands years old. They're deciduous, ancient redwoods. They so are, it is like one tree. Yeah. Like well, yes. the actual, like you yes. could count the lines type shit. Yeah. That is insane. Yeah. Each one of those trees are like over 500 years old. It's the, hard once forest. you. Yeah. Well, that's not dinosaurs. Yeah, but there are ones that are dinosaur age. Like each tree has a seed that then has a child. So like yes, the parent tree I got is you. still alive. I got you. Yeah. I was thinking of like one actual tree. There's like <clears throat> there's a photo of a redwood that got cut down. It had to have been in like the 1800s, mm -hmm. where like uh, you, they went through and counted the rings, and they like had arrows that said like, okay, Columbus landed. Um, I, I did not come in with like more timeline, but either the, the furthest yeah. one down there was like Jesus was born, like it like towards the very center of the tree, and it's yeah. like, bro, you cut that down. I know, right? It's, it's like, like, and now it's your house, and now you're wiping your ass with it. Yeah, it's, I'm wiping my ass with fucking Jesus tree. Yeah, no, now it's just <laughs> now all the parasites okay. can sit in thanks Most to you. Most of them are not dinosaur age, but they're around a thousand years old. Got you. Yeah, that's, yeah. that sounds more accurate. Yeah, 60 million year old trees would be fucking, that'd be a thick boy. Mm -hmm. I'd be like some night elf shit. Well, I don't think, I think the oldest trees are like 15,000 or something years old. I don't something fucking like know. I think you'll find Dinosaurs just it's lived it's a long time ago. There are so many point. plants in this country that the reason why like deserts exist in America is because the animals that um, helped create, like fertilize those plants and spread those plants by eating them and dropping their seeds and stuff are extinct. So things like Joshua trees in um, the desert, the giant three-toed sloth used to eat those and shit those out, and that's why they're so scarce in the desert. And same with most of, like, lots of cactuses and stuff. They were eaten by animals that no longer exist to spread them out, and that's why the mm. deserts are so scarce. Mm. Like avocados. That's why yeah. avocados have one giant seed in the middle is because they used to be eaten by an animal that would just eat the whole avocado berry and shit out the whole seed. And avocados as a plant are very lucky. We like them so much because otherwise they wouldn't exist otherwise. Mm -hmm. Lily, you're still Did you know that the Sahara Desert goes through um, cycles of 10,000 years where it goes from lush forest and uh, fields to straight up desert? I thought actually, Lily wrap and I your were head around that one. That's crazy. I do enjoy that. Every 10,000 years, it's like the moon. Well, the moon doesn't, never mind. <laughs> the moon don't do that. You'll enjoy time. You know it's like the moon, it just gets all lush and green after no, a while. It's like it rotates. I don't know why I said moon. Time. You know Laura Ingalls yeah. Wilder, the lady who nope. did Little House, Little House on the Prairie? I mean, I know the name. We're aware of Little House of the Prairie. Little, Little House on the Prairie. Okay, so that when... Girl born during the prairie traveling time. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, so when she first traveled the prairie, her family went on a covered wagon. But her last time traveling the prairie, she traveled on private jet. That's how, you know, time, tra yeah, I figured you'd like that one. <laughs> what year was this? She died in like the 70s, I think. So she's, she, she was, was born crazy. like just after the Civil War or just as the Civil War is going on, I think. Wow. So the yeah, first right? time that she walked across the, pra that she walked across the American plane, she wow. walked. And the last time she flew by private jet. Because That's she'd written all those fuck, books. Dude. Holy shit. 
Books are good. They are. Maybe we should lean more into this side if we want to generate more views. Uh, maybe we should lean in more to like That's narration. Cool so you know really. Laura Ingalls Wilder, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have a really good. So you, yeah, you be. I'll be your Joe Rogan guest, and you be my Joe Rogan. Dude, the one that's that crazy. <laughs> the one that's what really if you did that? That still trips me up. The one that's really popular. Oh, I love still this. Keep going. Oh, is, is she that, muted? I'm not anymore. Okay, cool. Um, the only one that like I I see this one a lot, but it still trips my brain up a lot that Anne Frank and Martin Luther King Jr. were born in the same year. Yeah. That one's really weird. Um, there are a bunch of them. I can look more up if you want. Or like Cleopatra was born closer to the opening of the first McDonald's than she was to the building of the well, pyramids. Well, that's a whole other story. There, like, there were um, ancient Egyptologists back in Egypt, ancient Egypt. That's how old Egypt is. That's what's crazy. Dude, that... Jet one is blowing my fucking mind right now. Imagine, because like it's not like the timeline isn't shocking me. What's shocking me is the idea of a little girl crossing uh, America, going to the West Coast in a fucking covered wagon where like you still have to worry about dysentery and polio and like Native yeah, Americans. Her sister went fucking blind you up. because of polio. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And and like 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 the tooth and nail, you don't know what like you don't know what the next day holds. You don't know how long it's going to take for you to get there. You don't know if your fucking your wagon's going to break down, and then you're just fucked. You know what I mean? You like fight your way across half of a country, and then by the end of your life, you do it in like three hours. Yeah, dude, that's fucking wild. That's I wonder insane. if that would make you like upset in a way, like when you look back at like. Like like when you when, like when you find a new technology that makes doing something so much easier, you're like motherfucker, I used to do that by hand. Like you think she's like motherfucker, I walked that. That was such a waste of time. This think one's about... kind of a weird one to kind of like think about, but um, the earliest version of Coca Cola was patented in 1885. Meanwhile, Italy became a unified country in 1861. Um, so that makes. Uh, most recently, before reunification, parts of Italy had been under Napoleon's French Empire. The 1861 mm. reunification made Italy a kingdom, and it became a republic in 1946 following World War II. So, technically, Coke is older than Italy. It also means that Vincent van Gogh could have technically enjoyed a Coke. I just don't. I'm not as familiar with Vincent van Gogh. <laughs> it'll help otherwise. with that earache, huh? Uh, ear sex. He cut his own if, ear off. Uh, yeah. Uh, he, he, oh, he got yeah. Mike Tyson. He's, he, no, he had yes, he got Mike Tyson. No, he's his his famous depression and self loathing led him to get into a fight, and he got Mike Tyson. Hold on, he was depressed, so he cut his ear off. Do you not know this star? Yes. No. So, you know, yeah. Starry what a Night? weird thing to do. Or like the sunflower painting that everybody likes. I know Starry Light, Starry, Starry Night. Night. Or I like don't know the sunflower one. The I know who Vincent Van Gogh is. Oh, okay. Well, I just you're don't like. like you don't. Well, okay, no. It, it'd be like, um, dude, I don't know when uh, Leonardo da Vinci was alive. Like, I'd guess 1600s. Okay, but I don't like this actually one. Will, this know. one will be better for Close, you. Close 1500s, so late 1500s. The last 15. execution in France by guillotine yeah. was 1977. Yeah. I'm sorry. Which means that. Which means. Fuck me for enjoying myself. The last guillotine happened after Star Wars premiered. I'd watch a guillotine happen. If they said they were going to cut someone's head off in downtown Seattle, I think I'd go. Yeah, I think that historically, yeah, I think you're in the majority there, my friend. Would you guys go watch a guy get his head cut off via guillotine? Um, Only to see if, like, it was true that, like, they, like, their eyes move um, for a you, second. So you'd be on the rail. You'd be me at that Macklemore concert trying not to look awkward. So sometimes we'll make fun of me for making like a privileged statement or something. And like, you know, like, and I feel like a lot of what we're making fun of is <laughs> you're so privileged, you're forgetting people's humanity in this instance, you know? So the novelty of someone getting their head chopped off. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think that's morally <laughs> reprehensible. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is worse. The last you could go execution by firing squad was after Toy Story 3. I mean, I think firing squads come back anytime there's a war. I don't think that's that bad. It was 2010. It's not, I don't think it's that bad. I, I'm sure there's still firing squads in like 
Ghana or something. It's just we're talking about, like, the novelty of death. Like, yeah, I think when it comes to, like, the death penalty, like, when people talk about, like, the execution by gu- guillotine, I'm like, <laughs> I'd rather be executed by guillotine than I would by lethal injection, personally. Ooh. But you got the crowd. <laughs> I feel like you, you're you're a you're a entertainer. You'd go out on that stage like. <laughs> I hope you're sharp in that play. <laughs> Julian, you'd be an entertainer till the end. You'd pick guillotine. You'd go out there like striking a pose and shit. <laughs> but like yeah, or firing squad. I'd way rather take firing squad than lethal injection. Also, still, don't they still kill people by firing squad in Utah? Like, that's not surprising to me, right? Isn't it still, like, that's how they do it? More Mormons are crazy. No, it's because they don't... It's something about being Mormon, yes, but I forget. Anne Frank and MLK. Is it's weird. that one person uh, can't have done it. I think is in a firing squad. You have ambiguity yeah, between. Who honey, that one person. person can't have done it. Okay, because you got a lot of wives, anyways. Anne Frank and MLK are interesting, but I, what I think just really freaked me out. Marilyn Monroe was the same age as the Queen of England. Mm. They were born on the same so year. Young. So young yeah. that we, you know, you never. And the queen died so, so old. old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. God, I love the idea of you being a sportsman as he walked. <laughs> he was like stoked. <laughs> uh, it's so fucked up. Mike Tyson walk up music. I actually don't know what he walked up to. I don't know, just something I mean, just big. <laughs> uh, you want to have something cringy? Oh, I don't even want to say it. Never mind. No, I'm not saying it. Never mind. I was gonna help myself. Should say it. No, it's embarrassing. No, I sincerely. I think he wants to oh, say, okay. it, say, <laughs> it, say it, say it, say yeah, it, say it. Yeah, I think Lily has something interesting to say. Sorry, I've been tuning in and out, but no, Lily, hang on. I'm sorry. No, Zach wanted to revisit this one thing. One second, sweetheart. Zach wanted to say something he thought was funny. <laughs> it's not funny. It's crazy. embarrassing. It's yeah, embarrassing. It if you didn't say it. No, well, I wanted to say it because it was relevant. And then I became self conscious. <laughs> and I don't want to. Okay, I'll say it. Oh, God. Well, it's about, okay, I'm going to say it. It's not going to be that bad. I'm say, This is a safe much. space oh, that we're fostering. God. Um, okay, so sometimes, well, you know that radio show thing that I do where I like yeah, pretend yeah, yeah. to be a cheating husband or something? Yeah. I'll get really, really anxious before it. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll listen to the Conor McGregor walkout music. Do you know what that is? I Where don't like, know what it it's is. It's very like harmonic in the beginning, and it's like kind of Irish, and then it tra- and then you hear a big dragon come by, and then it drops down into um, uh, I can't remember his name, the opposite of Tupac. Biggie, uh, biggie, 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 can't you see? So, and it transitions to that, and so. The the storyline I've worked up in my head is that I'm allowed to be nervous and scared as it's going through the symphonic part. And then as the dragon roars and it goes into Biggie, I remove myself completely and I force myself to become like... Yeah, let's gaslight this woman. Come on. <laughs> and, and I force myself to become unrealistically confident and not afraid of what's about to happen. And I find uh, it's so embarrassing. No, but that's what but it works. Where it's like I, I like I accept. I'm, I'm like to, I'm allowed to be afraid, and now I'm a fucking warrior, and I'm not allowed. I'm trying to like empathize with you because I'm not. I am definitely saying I definitely oh, do something that crazy to hype myself up. I think everyone does. I think everyone is like you know, I'm. I'm X, Y, and Z. You know, I'm, 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 I'm Spider Man. I'm Obama. I'm whatever the hell hypes you up. You know, like I'm not you know? saying I'm Conor McGregor. <laughs> no, no, no. But it's like you got you got to hype yourself up oh, somehow, God. and hyping yourself up isn't like and I dance. Is, when I you hype yourself up, that's not a time to be super realistic about your own abilities. You know, like it's just time to feel good. That's not oh, that's not the time for self reflection. That's after you after you've done it. No, no, the self reflection is the symphonic part. It's the beginning. I think it would be cringier for you to make fun of. So I think <gasps> the person who makes fun of you for doing that as being like super weird is cringier for not recognizing that they probably do something similar. 
<laughs> no, no, it's just it, okay. It's it's like talking about now like, to see you do it, like to visualize it. Like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not that it's just it's not Atlas, you know. It's, just... it, it's like talking about the porn that you watch. Like we all watch something weird, but there's a difference between like understanding everyone does it and then like discussing it. Yeah, no, this is. <laughs> There's too much dissecting the frog once you get to a point. But, oh, yeah. God. That's out there. I hope I can still use that song. Don't stop and go straight to the top. Don't stop and go straight to the top. I am that dude. 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 Don't stop and go straight to the top. Don't stop and go straight to the top. And we all going together.